mothers and the fathers and the brothers and sisters, the grandparents, <clears throat> for all of you today. This is a um, uh, part of the sacred text from the Baha'i faith. It was written as a letter to a mother who was mourning the loss of her child. And I've adapted it for this evening. Although the loss of a child is indeed heartbreaking and beyond the limits of human endurance, yet one who knoweth and understandeth is assured that the child hath not been lost, but rather hath stepped from this world into another, and you will find them in the divine realm. That reunion shall be for eternity, while in this world separation is inevitable and bringeth with it a burning grief. Praise be unto God that thou hast faith, art turning thy face toward the everlasting kingdom, and believest in the existence of a heavenly world. Therefore, be thou not disconsolate. Do not languish, do not sigh, neither wail nor weep, for agitation and mourning deeply affect the soul, their soul, in the divine realm. That beloved child addresseth thee from the hidden world. O oh, thou kind mother and father, thank divine providence that I have been freed from a small and gloomy cage and like the birds of the meadows, have soared to the divine world, a world which is spacious, illumined, and ever joyous and jubilant. Therefore, lament not, O mother and father, and be not grieved. I am not of the lost, nor have I been obliterated and destroyed. I have shaken off the mortal form and have raised my banner in this spiritual world. Following this separation is everlasting companionship. Thou shalt find me in the heaven of the Lord, immersed in an ocean of light. <clears throat> 